Oh yeah, let's learn English with Disney and Pixar's newest hit film, Turning Red. And if you are new here, every week we make fun lessons with your favorite movies, series, and more so that you can understand fast speaking natives without getting lost without missing the jokes and without subtitles. So hit that subscribe button and the bell down below and you won't miss a single new lesson. The numbers 24 7 and 365 refer to the days of the week and the year. 24 7 means 24 hours a day, 7 days a week. In other words, every day, all the time. So Maylene is saying that she wears what she wants and says what she wants all the time. We treat our thoroughbreds the way they deserve to be treated. Sweet! There's a full maid service, of course, with personal chef and masseurs available 24 7. It's a lot, but I don't got time to mess around. This phrase is grammatically incorrect. If we wanted to make it correct, how should it be? I haven't time to mess around. I don't have time to mess around. I haven't got time to mess around. Right, both of these would be grammatically correct. However, natives often break the rules and don't speak like you learned in school. I don't recommend you do this when you speak English, but it's important for you to be able to recognize when you listen to natives, for example, in the media. In this context, to mess around means to spend time doing things that are not important without any particular purpose. This is a phrasal verb. Yeah, about that, we should have really discussed this. Marla, <laughs> stop messing around. Let go. <laughs> you let go. Would you you don't want to oh, do yes, this. Oh, yes, I do. I no. really do. Oh, about that hustle, am I right? The word hustle is trendy, and it is associated with the idea of working hard and in an energetic way. Another term that has become popular lately is side hustle. A side hustle is a project or business that you start in addition to your main job, which also has potential to bring you money. Ah! Wait, wait, you're from Baby Corp? Yes, Baby Corp is more of what I call a side hustle for me. Uh -huh. <laughs> the point is, I'm all in on the Templeton. Go Templeton! This is gonna be the best and nothing's gonna get in my way. We have a common reduction here, gonna. This is a reduced version of going to. Notice how she says the second phrase, and nothing's gonna get in my way. The D in the word and is dropped, and she joins the words and and nothing with the end sound, and nothing. Then the verb to be is is contracted. So instead of nothing is, we hear nothings. Then again, we have the reduction gonna, and the T in the word get is pronounced as a flap T, which then connects to the preposition in, get in. When we put it all together, we have, and nothing's gonna get in my way. Listen again. And nothing's gonna get in my way. Right. You know, isn't it frustrating when you have to speak fast like this and you can't understand what they're saying? How would you like to master the principles that will help you to understand natives no matter how fast we speak? Well, you can, and we can help. Discover the most fun way to understand fast speech with our free three-part masterclass with friends by clicking here or in the description down below now.
everything okay? I'm a gross red monster! <laughs> Don't look at me! Stay back! This happened already? What did you say? Our ancestors had a mystical connection with red pandas. Are you kidding me? This little quirk brought us in our family. Oh. You're so cute! Sick. I've always wanted a tail. I'm a freak. We love you, May. You're our girl. <sighs> Whoa. You're you! Any strong emotion yes! will release the panda. Abby, hit me. Do you know how dangerous this is? You'll get whipped up into a frenzy and panda all over. In this context, gross means ugly and fat, disgusting and repulsive, scary and terrifying. Ew, look, her teeth are falling out. That's gross. Teeth falling out. <laughs> Don't look at me! Stay back! Now you can warn someone to stay back when you don't want that person to come near you. It's another way of saying, keep your distance. Then we can go back to civilization and everything will be just like it used to be. Stay back. Please. I'm a monster. Our ancestors had a mystical connection with red pandas. Are you kidding me? The word mystical is related to something mysteriously spiritual, religious, or fascinating. What is that? Smallfoot Evidentiary Society, meet your mystical creature. This little quirk brought us in our family. In this context, quirk is being used to refer to a particular or unusual type of behavior. Example, this lock has a quirk. You need to pull out as you turn the key. This is humorous because turning into a red panda isn't a little quirk, but rather a big, bizarre problem. A more advanced word that has a similar meaning to quirk is peculiarity. For example, we all have our little peculiarities, don't we? If you say that something runs in your family, you mean that everyone in your family shares a specific trait, characteristic, or behavior, which is usually related to sharing the same genes. I really did hit one. Sure, I think he never listens. Well, it runs in the and, family. And when he does, it's always with this disappointed scowl, like someone skimped on the meat in his sandwich. You're so cute! Sick. I've always wanted a tail. I'm a freak! Sick here is a slang term normally used by young people to say that something is cool. This place is sick. Like James Bond bad guy hideout sick. Yeah, we have our moments. You're so cute! Sick. I've always wanted a tail. I'm a freak! Let's practice saying this phrase as we hear it. First, let's reduce the word have to hmm. Instead of I have, say I've. Then, let's drop the letter T in wanted. Instead of wanted, say wanted. Now let's pronounce the final D in wanted as a flap D and continue the sound by joining it with A. Instead of wanted A, say wanted a. Finally, let's put it all together. I've always wanted a tail. So cute! Sick. I've always wanted a tail. I'm a freak! We love you, May. Maylene is saying that she looks very strange or abnormal. In this context, the word freak has a negative connotation. You know what? You're right. You are a freak. What? No, I'm serious. You're a freak. But what? Do you, do you want to be normal? Do you, do you want to be just like everyone else? Being a freak is the best, all right? I'm a freak. You'll get whipped up into a frenzy and panda all over. Maylene's mom is saying that when she feels strong emotions, she becomes a red panda. To whip up is a phrase verb that means to make someone have strong feelings about something. Example, he was trying to whip up some enthusiasm for the project. The word frenzy means a state of uncontrolled excitement or wild behavior. You see, we're the ones loading them with mind-controlling additives. But why? <clears throat> to drive people into a frenzy of shopping. That's why flu shots are given just before Christmas. Of course. 
It's so simple. The English language can be quite visual and literal sometimes. Just look at the segment and panda all over. All over is a reduced version of all over the place. If something happens all over the place, it happens everywhere. The word panda is being used as a verb or action to describe the wild and uncontrolled behavior that Meline has when she turns into a panda. When we hear her mom saying that she will panda all over, we can visualize Meline acting very irrational as a panda. Let me give you another example that shows how English can be quite visual. Take a look at the expression, to let people walk all over you. In your mind, picture a person laying down on the ground and people walking over or on top of this person. Based on this mental image, what do you think this expression means? To let people walk all over you. If you thought of something related to letting people humiliate you or treat you without respect, you were right. Interesting, right? OMG is an informal way of expressing surprise or shock. It's short for, oh my god. These kinds of reductions, text speak, have become quite common mainly because of the internet. Here are some other examples. LOL, laugh out loud. IMO, in my opinion. FYI, for your information. BRB, be right back. To hustle means to work in a careful way, to work hard and slowly, to work hard and in an energetic way. Is everything okay? This happened already? What did you say? Our ancestors had a mystical connection with red pandas. Are you kidding me? This little quirk brought us in our family. In this context, quirk means a peculiar or unusual type of behavior, a common or well-known type of behavior, a family tradition. Strong emotion yes! will release the panda. Abby, hit me. <gasps> oh. <laughs> Do you know how dangerous this is? You'll get whipped up into a frenzy and panda all over. <laughs> In this phrase, the word panda is being used as a noun, a verb, an adjective. Encanto is another recent Disney movie that I absolutely loved. Let's check out a clip from our recent lesson with that one. Oh, Mirabel didn't get one. You didn't get a gift? Besides being a synonym of present, a gift can also be a special ability. For example, we might say he has a gift for forming lasting relationships. We might also use this as a verb, as in he's gifted. Chickens can't fly. But in this example, this gifted chicken might be able to. Okay, how long did it take you? To do what? To learn how to fly. Apples and oranges, baby doll. I'm gifted, they're not. You can't compare the two, okay? <laughs> 